Sissy Strutt is a song that was actually written by the guitar player. And he was very good at writing rhythms, but just about 98% of the songs that the meters actually played, uh, I never had any instructions and I never was told what to play or how to play it. It was my own creations and I'm so proud of them because it gave me a chance to speak. It gave me a chance to speak on record and to let people know that there are different ways to do good things. The Sister Strut beat was the one, for some reason or another, that really kind of came to the forefront. The hi-hat is a very important tool for drummers to have. Uh, I found that I would, could give the hi-hat more justice with playing with two hands on the hi-hat instead of one. Guys with a lot of serious, serious chops would rather, would rather dedicate their uh, cross-sticking, they would rather dedicate all your hi-hat licks with one hand which is very cool and it looks really cool. But uh, for the information I wanted to display, I tried to use the hi-hat with both hands. And uh, there's, there's a, at least a thousand patterns what you could actually do uh, doing that, mixing it up. So this was a this to me was a, a, a was a direct assault on the hi hat and being able to interact in a more aggressive way and to get more flavor out of simplicity. I just love the way it swung. It has a, a kind of like a pendulum effect. It's back. It's a, it's a rocking type of. Uh, groove that, you know, the continuity that came in the, in the beat. And of course, you know, I had a, a double back beat. So I was doing One was a single stroke uh, back beat and the other one was a double back beat and I alternated the two. So, and I had the swing going on a, on a hi-hat. So every time you release, bop, bop, bop. I've seen drummers play it all different kind of ways. Uh, the two hand thing is just something I, that, that was more relaxing to me to get the essence of that beat out. So every time you release, bop, bop, bop. I've seen drummers play it all different kind of ways. Uh, the two hand thing is just something I, that, that was more relaxing to me to get the essence of that beat out. And, you know, I had other beats, uh, I had other things going on where I would be playing.
stuff like that. A little bit more challenging, but it's not, it's not hard at all. It's just uh, the way you apply yourself. I've been around the world with a lot of different musicians, including, I played 17 years with Vincent Marcellus. I recorded with, with George Benson, played with Harry Connick Jr., um, Deacon John, played with Dr. John, played with Dr. Nani Smith, uh, Ahmad Jamal, Cassandra Wilson, Diane Reeves, and, and this goes on and on. But uh, one of my biggest influences, my main influences, was Zigaboo Joseph Morton Leach. I, I learned my the drumming funk style. The New Orleans funk, funky drumming style was definitely um, came from his influence. So when it came to funk, I always loved that. <laughs> artists, we're about being true and being real. Because as artists, that's, that's all we have is our truthness and our realness. It's not about manufacturing something, you know, because you think the public want to hear it or because Joe Blow says it's cool. It's about being true and honest to yourself. Whether or not people like it or not, that's what art is. Art is, art is being true. Art is truth and realness. And um, that's what Zigaboo more than least possesses. A section. Action. A section. Zigaboo on Sister Strut. 